Hey there guys, it's your boy Vandal, and I'm coming back to you with another video, and today we're talking about Yasuke. I know I'm a little bit late, but we're talking about Yasuke, the LaShawn Thomas problem. Alright, so let's get into it. So, uh, about a month ago, a week ago, I watched Yasuke. It is supposed to be this historical anime about a the first black samurai in Japan. That's the long and short of it. There's gonna be spoilers. I don't think it really matters at this point. Hopefully you've seen it. If not, check it out on Netflix. Um, and it was produced and made by uh, LaShawn Thomas and Ma Mappa Studios. Mappa Studios is the studio that made Jujutsu Kaisen. So there was a lot of hype leading up to it. But let's talk more about the story. So the story is about Yasuke. And this story in particular is about Yasuke and his journey and redemption. I guess I want to say to failures of his past and getting over those and trying to be a better person. As you can see, I don't have the best summary of the story and I'm gonna get a little bit into that. But before I dive into the things that I wanna critique, I wanna talk more about what I liked about the story and let's say the show as a whole. So what I really liked about the show is the music i think the music was really well in each of his productions lashawn thomas is amazing when it comes to music the music for the opening the music for the ending was great it had such a vibe a mood and i'm not saying that he made the music but he is very good at selecting it now people talked about the soundtrack to yasuke and i have yet to hear it so i can't really speak too much on it people say it's great one of the best parts of the whole thing uh so i can't really speak too much about that the animation was pretty good it it dipped sometimes but it wasn't bad it was serviceable it could have been a lot better there were some good points like when yasuke was at the the port with his massa oh god that sounds so wrong to say uh, was at the port with his massa and he had to do a little sparring and fighting uh, that he did there. That animation looked really good. Anytime Mappa makes things where you have to throw hands, they do a really good job. I don't know what it is. They just love this martial arts type thing. They do a very good job at that. Uh, so the combat was really cool in terms of the animation. The character designs were pretty cool. I think they looked fine. I enjoyed them. It was great seeing a black lead-ish character. And that's all the good stuff that I have to say about Yasuke. And I hate that I have to go into this part, but the critique is not from a place of like, I want it to do bad. I want it to do better. And that's why I'm critiquing it. So please take that into account for the next things that I'm going to say. So there were a lot of things wrong with this story and I wanted it to be better and a lot of people did as well and there are people who enjoyed it and if you're one of those people that's great I have no qualms with you I just feel like it could have been way better than what it was now some of the things that I found a problem with the story and this is just a thing in general but is pacing pacing is a hard thing to do in whatever you're creating even I have my issues with pacing however I think with this, the amount of episodes, unless it were some sort of restriction, was way too little. I think this is about six episodes. They're not even like close to an hour. And the problem is there's not enough time for us to get attached to the characters or for things to breathe. Things didn't get a chance to breathe, live, be as is, if that makes sense. So that's one of the things I think it suffered from. It needed more time to get into the groove of itself and focus more on the character that the name of the show is. Hold on, let me show you guys. Yasuke, this is Yasuke. This is who the story should be about. However, as you can see, there are a lot of things going on in this picture. And I think there's some other pictures. Hold on, let's get this one. Let's get this one. There's a lot of things, as you can see, going on with this that kind of just throw you off. So this comes into after pacing and that's elements that were added to the story that don't serve a purpose and I think they're they're superfluous let's put that in our dictionaries it was definitely one of those things that they added a lot of things that didn't do much for the story and 
one of those things we're adding mechs now mechs and this comes back to a video i'm going to talk about soon and that's world building mechs didn't do anything to make this better it just added a part that didn't really need to be there they had mechs the mechs didn't really play much they were just like a set piece to make things look grandiose and feel grandiose in the end but didn't really add to the world because it was weird they had magical mechs but they didn't have tv or cell phones i don't know for some i think it was like immersion breaking because i didn't really see the point of having them there in the first place the other thing was magic magic was just felt like it was hey what's up castle 2002 magic felt like it was just shoehorned in there for no reason i don't know why magic was in there but i would have been okay with it had it served a purpose for something and magic for the most part was for this little girl it was i don't remember her name but this little girl right here this is what the whole Yasuke was basically working toward. Protecting her because she was an all magical being that could beat the super shogun daimyo. I feel like I'm making things up, but that's basically what it was. Her influence was the driving force of the story at a certain point where it became less about Yasuke and more about this little girl. And that was another thing that didn't add anything to the story because and she kind of feels like she comes out of nowhere and she doesn't do much for Yasuke other than maybe pushing him towards doing the things that that the story wants him to do so he can somehow become the samurai kind of like shoehorning him being a samurai again and it added the magic and then the power escalation it felt like a shonen that just went like this and went up for no apparent reason and the problem was like i talked about him being at the beach not the beach but at the the seaport or the flashbacks that happened throughout the story those parts were the most fun those were the most fun and enjoyable because i got to piece together what kind of character he was there was a lot of mood there was a lot of development there was tension there was a lot of things going on that would have been a lot more interesting than this like fanciful show that we got that was not interesting at all and didn't service much of anything except for maybe i guess if you're someone who likes anime and that's it and you don't care about the story it's kind of like people who just like listen to music and enjoy the sound but don't listen to the lyrics it felt like that in that way and it sucks because those parts or elements of the story that i talked about the magic or the mechs could have been integrated into the story but they weren't meaningful and they didn't mean anything to the characters and he definitely didn't mean anything to me so it made it really hard for me to attach myself to enjoying it a lot of the time because it took me out of a lot of the elements and in terms of the pacing now earlier i talked about I talked about this being called Yasuke the Lashawn Thomas problem. And I said that for a reason because in addition to me watching Yasuke, I also watched Cannon Busters, something else that he's made. There's one other property of his that I want to watch to see if this is like a reoccurring problem. And I think this is the last one is called Children's of Ether. I want to check that one out. But right now my man is betting two for two hopefully it's just two for three because the last one might be something else but in canon busters a lot of the same issues that happen in yasuke happen here and it's amazing there's max because i think he really likes max he likes magic because there's also magic in there and he also likes really demonic final bosses type things that happen inside of the story and it's funny because inside of cannon busters cannon busters has the similar thing that yasuke has i really like the music the animation was okay but the characters are lacking and the story feels really rushed and that had more episodes which was weird because i feel like 
that anime Cannon Busters was like an anime that was made based off of anime that came out in the early 2000s, like a mix between Bebop, Outlaw Star, and all that kind of Trigun all melded in together, like all the parts that you liked about it, maybe even Big O because of the robots, to have those like big kaiju battle type stuff. And that's the part that I think is missing. And this is just, this is me, somebody who does not produce anime at this scale but i just feel like it's missing something it's missing character it's understanding that these elements do exist inside of anime but not really using them in a way that is unique it just feels like a, a way that I, something that i loved but not used in a way that's pushing the medium forward I think that's my real problem with these last two works because it was beautiful to see people of color inside of anime but I wanted to see it done well and I didn't get to see that in two instances and that really hurts that's why I'm making this video and I want there to be like reflection on why these things keep happening like what's happening in this writing room because it feels like it's just not cohesive or in a way that's like building up to something because the way Cannon Busters ends is ends on a cliffhanger and the cliffhanger doesn't really make me want to come back because things at the end just start happening and I think that's the problem like things just happen and it's one of the things because I, 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 I run this manga channel and it's one of the things that I notice is people when they make their stories and this is for everybody across the board and sometimes me included in the past just have things happen and there's no reason and the reason for those things happening will be explained later and my problem with things being explained later is that they weren't interesting now they didn't make sense now they left me confused not wanting to know more but just I, I was just confused. I want to know what's going on in my story, but I'm not getting that information and that's not happening. And why is that not happening? Because later it'll get better. And like when you do it later, it gets better and then you'll watch it, right? But you already lost me here. That's why I think one of the fundamental things when you're making your story is try and explain don't explain everything because you don't you want people to keep reading but explain a good amount to the point where people actually understand what's going on and they can empathize with the characters and get along with the plot because things just kind of happen and like like for example the main character in cannon busters he gets his motivation maybe halfway explained to us through a flashback of why he hates the kingdom but it wasn't really set up earlier that he did he kind of just looked like an aloof person and how he got his powers kind of just felt really haphazard it wasn't bad but after we get that little revelation it doesn't really surface back up until the end of the se uh the season where he decides he wants to really really get revenge and we don't really feel that hatred like it would have been better to see that earlier before it, like way earlier so we understand that when he sees the kingdom at a certain point we understand that he hates the kingdom because his parents were killed by them and he had to do this thing to make himself a zombie or whatever so he could keep dying and how does that even affect him like see these are the things i'm thinking about with the story and why it's like those other things persist in Yasuke and why Yasuke for me wasn't as hype as it could have been because there's a lot of what's the word there's a lot of things just happening for the sake of them happening and the characters aren't looked at and I think that's just one of the things if I could like hone down on anybody else who wants to make something make your characters interesting focus on your characters conflict those are the things that drive us for the most part and the external conflict should be tied with the internal conflict of your characters i'm always going to loop it back to making your own manga and characters because the the thing that sucks is the good stuff that gets made doesn't get talked about a lot and i need to do that more i need to talk about things that work i had just talking about this because i'm late on making videos and your homie needed to make videos because he didn't make videos but the thing is we need to make sure that 
we're thinking about our characters how they work with the story and making sure that things in the plot don't just happen and if they do they're shown to us early so the resolution feels earned i think a lot of things feel unearned and a lot of people also complain about that in like shonen uh series where things just kind of happen people get power bursts and it's sort of in that vein where things need reason so that is my problem i'm going to watch children of ether i'm going to come back and talk about it and let you know because i think that one is a movie not a series and maybe there'll be like maybe maybe he's more suited to making movies i don't know i'm not too sure but if you've seen yasuke if you've seen cannon busters do you think what i'm saying is crazy do you think that like i'm being too harsh uh i'm reading too much into it it could be maybe i'm just uh uh being too hard on the guy i should just you know love the fact that a homie's making anime and that's great and it is but i think things can always be better but let me know in the comment section down below what you think about that but yeah, guys, uh, that's my rant for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new, hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe to the video if you want more videos like this. You know, you know, just do that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Bull.